What's up guys? Today I am going to be doing another uh SnowRunner video. Uh last time we did the um the Veron AE part 2 video. This time we're actually going to be covering the phase 1 SnowRunner search and recover um update. Um I know I'm like a, a, a like a couple weeks late to this, but um, I'm, I'm doing it now, so, anyway, first off, I think we're going to start off with the free content, and then go up into the paid content. First off, in the free content section, we have Rift, which is a fourth location in Tamir, um, it's, and it's directly connected to the quarry map. So if you would ever want to go to the rift map, you would have to go through, go to get to the quarry, and then go through the quarry into rift. Um, we have new activities. It, it, it just says activity, um, I'm, but I'm assuming that uh, there's multiple. So probably just new activities in the new map maps we have vehicle skins for Gary Longhorn and the con loaf lo 4 F I'm, I'm just gonna call it the loaf we have map and interior modding tools which I mean if you're a modder then I guess you can now mod interior it, like the interior of cars and make your own maps and stuff we also have an extreme cargo add-on which is called the oil refinery and we have two new trails one is called ride on king and the second one is lost in the wilderness uh the those last three i don't have any information on other than um two of them are new trailers and one of them is a extreme cargo add-on and we just get new missions in general. So, and then for the paid content, we get a a new winter Russian map called the Kola Peninsula. But I'm probably going to call it Koala because it's funnier. Yeah. And um, in that we have Lake Coved, which, and we also have... Uh, Imandra, which has no information about it on this website that I'm on. We got three new vehicles, the Ford F750, the Tuz 16 Action, I think that's how you pronounce that, I don't know. And then we have the Tuz 1108 Warthog. So those will be three more trucks that I'm assuming that you could um, try to find them and recover them, I'm assuming. You might have to buy some of them. We got a new add-on, which is called the metal, the metal Detector Module, which is which can go on a long list of trucks with a total of 14 trucks it could go on. Um, and it's going to be mainly used for um, the airplane parts and the Ba 20 um, armored cars that are going to be, uh, and I'm assuming, in some of the missions, if not one of the final missions. That's like kind of a main boss. Next up, we have um, the prototype exploration unit, which um, it's... It's a prototype exploration unit, and it's basically going to work as a mobile watchtower. So now if you get this and you go to the Koala Peninsula, um, you can um, just go like start off right where you spawn and activate this thing and spread out to know like what's around you and stuff. So basically, if... Now, if a watchtower is too far away, 
or if it's like up on a mountain and hard to get, you could just get the exploration unit, otherwise known as the mobile recon unit, and it'll work basically the same. I don't know the range because there are there are some uh, watchtowers that have big that have a big radius and others that have a smaller one. So I don't know which one. Maybe you could get two different types, or maybe uh, it, it depends on what car. Or, 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 I mean, truck is hauling it or something. I don't know. Uh, but we'll have to see about that. I don't know. We, we could probably look at that maybe later in another video. Or something like that. We also have a portable cabin and a wide flatbed semi-trailer. Both of those don't have any information on it. I don't know what the portable cabin will, would be used for, but I'm assuming that the wide flatbed semi-trailer would be used for those bigger and tougher missions. We also have exclusive vehicle skins for the Tega 6436 6, and the Tuz 166. And then we also have, and then we also have exclusive interior items, which I don't really know what will be, but um, maybe we'll find out uh, later in the video or in another episode. But that's all the news of the search and recovery. Um, yeah, why don't we go? into SnowRunner and maybe check out Lake Cove, the new winter re the the new winter map in the new Kola Peninsula. So yeah, let's let's head over there. All right. Well, I already like what they've done so far with the the background. I I I like how the, how they changed. It. I think that's a bear way off into the distance uh, over there. So, yeah, let's get in and see what we could do. I mostly want to explore some of the new map. Yeah, Lake Cove. So, yeah, let's, let's get right into that. Alright, so we're in Lake Cove. And, um, um, so first, right off the bat, it, it, it does look very snowy. Or winter-y. It looks like... Alaska, but like it's in Russia, so that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, where should we go first? Oh, looks like there's a little town over here. Let's explore that. Maybe we should be in the Hummer to explore. Nah, we're fine. All right, first off, let's go over here to see what's over here. You know, um. Alright, it looks like there is a mission right here, which is, um, I think you have to, uh, um, transport that fuel tank, and it looks like there's a gas station right here, so you won't have to bring any, um, fuel tanks or anything like that over here. Over there, it looks like a dock. I'm not gonna go, actually, let's go over there just to see what's going on. Alright, yeah, just like it's, uh, like I said, it's just a dock, um, where you can load on stuff. Let's see, what can you load on? Um, dock storage, oh, so, I uh, could get metal beams from it, I guess. Okay, cool. And there's a trailer store right over there, like right here. That's kind of cool. Alright, and then... I remember uh, right off the bat there was like another village. I, I don't know if there's like a mission there, so let's check that out. Alright, so it looks like there's a mission right here. That... Hold on. Um, looks like it's something to do with like fixing like a factory. So that's kind of cool. Is there anything else here? No, doesn't really look like it. What about in the map? No, not really. Okay, so, see, let's go, maybe we could go, we could probably go over to, like, a watchtower, like, up here, just to see more, maybe. 
So let's go head over to that watchtower. Yeah. Alright, so I'm making my way over to the watchtower and I see this mission. So I, I do want to go check it out to see what it is for me in the future and for you guys. So just... Yeah, what is this shabby guard house? What's it? What's it about? There's a guard house. Oh, okay, so we basically just have to repair something. That's not too bad. Alright. So if we back out, we are getting actually really close to the, um, the watchtower. And for this point, I think I'm going to try to show you, like, um, me actually driving. Because it is actually, like, okay, I, I've been in, in low gear for, for the majority of the time just to play it safe. But, um, it, 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 it goes really slow. It, I mean, it works, but, um, it ends up going really slow. But now I, 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 cho I chose, I choose to go into automatic. And, of course, you know, of course, when I start recording or turn on my microphone again, that's when automatic works. So, I think we go all the way up here. And, yeah, oh, shoot. Gotta be careful about gotta be careful about those rocks but yeah I'm, I'm really liking this map for like it's it, it's scenery and stuff I, I, I am really liking it um, yeah so we're, we're almost there okay we're getting stuck again we have to go into log gear um, I'm assuming this could be done in the Hummer H2 maybe if you have a lift kit I'm assuming but that's just me assuming so it might not be possible with the lift kit and it might not be so yeah can we I think we're gonna have to get over these rocks and over there to get to this watchtower but yeah gonna have to do some rock climbing with the Hummer H2 can we go an automatic and nope that's just digging Okay, come on. Maybe wiggle? Okay. What if we... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go too far down. Alright. We have to go around that rock. Alright, we could probably go up this rock right here. Not that one, no. Hold on, hold on. Don't fall back. Okay, I think we got this. So, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we we could climb up here and at least get to the watchtower. Alright, we have made it to the watchtower. Uh, yeah, looking over all the area I just trudged through. Let's see if we can find anything else. There's a unlucky number over here. There's the shabby guard house. I don't trying to find if there's any abandoned cars or anything like or trucks I mean and I'm not seeing any so yeah I think that's gonna be the exploration of this of, of the Kola Peninsula or what I would like to call Koala because it's funnier but anyway that's gonna do it for this epi episode or it's not really an episode more of a like news video I guess but that's gonna do it for this video if you liked it smash the like button subscribe if you're new turn on those post notifications so that you get notified every single time I upload and until next time see ya